everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the readings for the month of December and I'm going to be doing the reading for Aquarius and as I mentioned previously on a little preview I did on the encaustic art I'm going to be producing a card for my lovely Aquarians so I can use it at the end of the reading as a little extra to find a little bit more information for this month's reading for you. So what I'm going to start to do is um, I'm going to put a primary colour first on the card for your monthly Aquarians and get an intention going of what is um, around you in the month of December. So I'm just going to put a main colour on this iron to start with. Okay, I'm going to go with lovely red. I feel like I want red for you, um, my lovely Aquarians. So I'm just going to apply this on the card just to start with, just to build up some colour for you. And we just want some messages for the lovely Aquarians for the month of December okay so I've started with a little bit of colour on this card for you I'm just going to clean this off now Aquarius just with a bit of paper just so we can start building up for the the tarot card as such that I'm creating for you today my lovelies so I'm going to go with I feel some yellow I'm drawn to some yellow and we'll have some blue Okay, uh, a little bit of orange and I feel a little bit of sort of tealy green I'm going to put in as well. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this back on the card now for you. What messages have we got for the lovely Aquarians please for the month of December? And I'm just going to put a little bit more of a magenta on this iron. I just feel like I want a bit of shocking pink for your Aquarius. So I'm just going to add this in for you. Okay. Turn that round a little bit. It's quite dramatic actually. quite like this. So then my Aquarians, this is the lovely card that I've created here for you. And I will let this dry and I will come back to this card at the end of your reading for you. Okay, my lovelies? So I'm just going to let this dry and come back to you soon. So my lovely Aquarians, because that's who I'm going to be reading now for the month of December, the card has dried, as you can see. And if you're new to my channel, what I tend to do is premeditate on the cards, because then that allows me to write my little bit of poetry at the end. So I'm going to move these... Um, to start with and I'll come back to these in a little while so without further ado Aquarius let's have a look what's going to be around you for the month of December so the card that came out for you my lovelies was control okay so this is the energy that you'll be looking at in December and it's about getting some kind of control back on certain things in your life okay going into December let's open this up a little bit more and we'll get um, a bit more from the cards then so we've got the magical uh, map shifter okay and then we've got rock bottom we also have the star card and we have the strength so I'm going to talk about these to start with and if you are new to my channel I tend to do a collective um, reading and then I'd recap excuse me and then we'll have a look at the um, romantic side of things so I'm going to do the collective to start with so going into December okay I do feel the energy Aquarius that you, you you're coming into the month of December with is is very busy um, there's a lot going on you've got a lot on your on your plate that you, you're sort of juggling things at the minute okay and your energies your energy level guys Aquarius it is literally rock bottom and you feel like as December's drawing and you know like it's a busy time of year anyway where you know we're running around sorting presents and cards and gifts and planning social events and everything else I do feel it's to do with your energy levels guys because having the strength card and the star card here um, you are going to be uh, burning yourself out if you're not careful so be mindful um, Aquarius going into December then you have got to start to prioritize your workload okay you need to get some control um, if you've just got 
it's just as though I feel like you've got that many things on your table at the minute. You know, you, you've got so many unfinished things. You've started this and you've got that to finish and you need to go and sort that out for so-and-so. And it's that kind of, you know, busy, busy. And um, job's got to be finished, energy, trying to tie, tie things up, you know, and it's an overload as well. I feel like it's a, a complete mind overload as you go in and um, you are going to, your energies, guys, you've got to be careful because your energies, Aquarius, are going to just plummet, literally plummet, okay? Um, so it's just saying here, you've got to, going into December, it's, uh, you need to take stock, you need to prioritise if you can delegate things to other people to take the burden and the weight off you a little bit, okay? Um, to sort of lift you up a little, you know, lift you and take the burdens off you. That's what I feel the control card is. Because I do feel um, for the collective Aquarians, you're doing too much, guys. You've got to take a breath, <sighs> sit down, take a breath and sort out the chaos. Because I'm just feeling chaos, my lovelies. Oh, wow, I just feel... You know, some of my Aquarians coming into December are going to be thinking, how the hell am I going to clear all this up before I break up for the, for the Christmas holidays? How the hell am I going to get um, all this paid for, wrapped up, dealt with, for family come and stay with us over Christmas? It's just like you're working crazy. It's like you're decorating rooms. Uh, you're just trying to get the house sorted Um you could have just recently moved as well. You could have just recently moved into a new house and it's just, wow, I've just got to get so much done. But you're burning the candle at both ends. You're burning the candle at both ends and it's a warning, guys. It really is a warning because I do feel um, Aquarians uh, are just going to burn themselves out, literally burn themselves out. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got playful, okay, and we've got understanding and... The playful energy here, okay, with the kitten, it's that's the energy that you, you lo you've lost. This is uh, your me time, time for you, where you was finding time, you know, um, to sort of just, like I say, breathe. I just want to keep saying breathe all the time. Because of everything that's been sort of going on, and I do feel, like I say, it's um, sometimes it's not your fault. It could be it's burdens that have been put on you um, where you've, you've, you're trying to help a family member settle in somewhere and it's like you've got to give up your free time, okay? You've got to give up all your free time to sort somebody else out and by doing that, it's burning you out, okay? Because you're trying to do too much um, and it's saying you've got to get some balance back here, guys. You've got to get some balance because the understanding card here, it's just saying you can't be in two places, at the same time, as much as you want to, you feel like oh, she's standing there, and then there's, a, there's like a set of arms around her that's like just protect, trying to protect yourself, and you've got your hands up in the air, thinking I can't literally be in two places at the same time, and this is the vibe I'm getting, guys. So we've got clean it up, okay, and unfinished symphony. So the clean it up here, it's it's about cleaning your act up. Aquarius okay it's saying while you're helping and trying to sort everybody else's crap out okay because that's what I want to say now you're just trying to clear everybody else's shit off the table and you're leaving your own to build up okay it's building and building and building up okay um and it's just saying here you're not playing to your own tune you're playing to somebody else's with the unfinished symphony here with the notes and the keyboard it's like Somebody's making you jump to their tune, okay? Um, and and you're doing all their clean. You're dealing with their crap. You're you're cleaning up all their shit, okay? That's what I want to say. And in doing so, it's like wearing you out because you're thinking to myself, my God, you know, I, I can't physically be in two places at once. This person is just pulling me from pillar to post, okay? And you're dancing to their tune because I feel it's like a family member, and you 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 feel obliged to say yes instead of saying no but guys it's burning you out okay it's making your head spin i just feel like your head's spinning with everything that you need to sort out and this is what i'm feeling for the collective okay it's saying you know you've got to watch your energy because you're not giving yourself any free time you run ragged okay and 
because you're cleaning up other people's crap you jump into their tune and it's got to you've got to prioritize it guys you have got to get a control you've got to get a control back on this because it's just spiraling so this is what i'm picking up on the collective then in this reading for the um those on the romantic side okay this is what i'm feeling on the romantic is let's just go back to the start this is about controlling your feelings okay this is about controlling your feelings on a relationship and i do feel it's a relationship where it has you have split up already okay aquarius there's already a split there on the relationship it could be you know uh, two weeks a month six weeks where you've been um split up but you haven't felt your life has been in control because of all the emotions and everything that you're going through aquarius okay it's like you can't focus properly on what's going on around you because you're still in this um in this energy of hurt i want to say hurt because it made you it did make you feel rock bottom you know it, it has depleted your energies and it's taken you away from the person that you truly are because looking at the playful card there this is the person that you feel you've lost because of this split up in this relationship okay um and that's quite sad in a way because that's why you can't see what the universe is doing here the universe I just put them back up the universe is um is embracing you it's trying to uh, comfort you without you seeing because you you're looking up to the sky and thinking um why why am i feeling like this why did this happen i didn't expect this relationship to to end as it did you don't feel like yourself anymore you feel like you just want to shut the door on everything okay but it's saying here um with the clean it up aspects here it's saying you've got to realize that um you've got to bring yourself out of this you've got to clean up the remnants of what's gone on and address the situation because i do feel um there is there is unfinished business here with the unfinished symphony for the romantic side this is like you here um just sitting and and going through everything okay what you've been through with this person but it's as though you're waiting for something to come to you you're waiting for a message to come from them to say it's not like unfinished business that's what i want to say i feel for some of my aquarians here you're trying to clean the mess up from the split of the relationship okay you're finding it very hard to deal with the hurt and you don't feel like you you feel like you've had you just feel like you've been hurt so much by whoever it is who's done this across you that it's took your identity away a little bit you, you, you look in the mirror and you hurt that much and you've been crying that much and you're thinking i don't know who i am anymore i don't know who i am anymore i can't live without this person anymore and you will feel like this okay because it's raw okay it is raw aquarius when you split with somebody who you think are your world who you think that you are you know you, you think there could be nobody else like them okay it's in the first stages that's why it's called clean it up here because you're in such a turmoil and in such a denial okay where you are sitting there thinking am i going to hear from this person is it unfinished business you know and it's like you're waiting on a message you're waiting on hearing from them i'm not saying you may not you know you may hear from them being as it's christmas you know you might get a message but it might be just a case of i hope you're okay you know i hope you're doing okay because they feel guilty They'll, it could be a guilt text or a guilt email please don't get suckered in to the fact that this relationship is going to get um back on track i don't feel it is even though you're sitting there thinking it's an unfinished symphony and you're waiting for those notes to come through that last bit of communication the universe to me what i'm picking up here is saying you've got to clean it up guys you've got to clean yourself up you've got to clean your emotions up you've got to be able to stand in that mirror and say okay this happened yeah it sucked okay they've moved on the universe must have something or someone better for me 
coming into my life. And until you accept that, until you close the book on that symphony, okay, then it's not going to be finished. It is going to be an unfinished symphony if you cannot clean up uh, your thoughts and your heart for allowing them to get back to your true essence, your true playful essence, and get control back on you. That's what I want to say, my lovelies, okay? So, yeah, we've got two sides of the coin there on that reading. Um, I am just going to read the last card that covers, it's the affirmation card that covers the whole of the collective and the romantic side. And it says, take a moment. It says, stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So yeah, it is about taking a moment. It is about reflecting on both sides, okay? The ones who are on the collective, when I said you need to breathe, okay? You've got to take a moment to breathe, guys, because you're just doing too much dealing with other people's crap. You're wearing yourself out, you're burning yourself, you're making yourself feel rock bottom and you've got to get a control on that. Then on the romantic, take a moment. It's to take a moment, guys, okay, to know uh, you can ask your soul for guidance because you need to come to terms with, you know, the, if this relationship is completely over, then you need to get that in your headspace. You need to transform that. You need to transform you into the acceptance so that you can move forward then, my lovelies, okay? Um, but as I said, I do feel on some of my Aquarians that you may get um, uh, a text message or an email or some communication from this person that you've split with. And I feel it's a guilt thing from them, okay? Because they'll say, you know, because of Christmas and everything else, and it'll be a case of, I hope you're doing okay. Are you all right? It's like their guilt. It's like a text message from guilt. That's what I'm going to say. Now, whether you reply to that, that's up to you. But I just feel that, you know, you need to, and if you do, okay, then answer it with a positive. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm moving on. Blah, blah, blah. Don't let them think that you're sitting there dwelling and feeling like you are, okay? Because you need to get you back and understand that there is somebody that the universe is waiting to hatch basically because having the egg here okay along the the keyboard it's saying you know until you until you realize that tune's played out it's a finished symphony a new one cannot hatch you're sitting on something new guys here a brand new opportunity here and until um you let go and deal with everything okay then you know this is not going to come into fruition until you, till you, you, you sort, your, you know, you, you clean your act up on both sides. Because while you're running around doing stuff for other people, while you're wearing yourself out doing stuff for other people, while you're juggling around and can't, you know, trying to be in two places at once, it's blocking. You're blocking things, opportunities that are waiting for you. They're thinking, well, hang on a minute, universe. How can they deal with all this new stuff coming in when they're running around doing everything for everybody else, it's on hold, okay? But you're sitting on it, <laughs> you're sitting on all these opportunities. Control, guys, control. That's all I wanna say, control. So yeah, that's what I get for you, my Aquarius. I'm just gonna um, look at the card now. Uh, now it's dried. So this, to me, it could be a bit like my tea leaf readings. You know, I, I haven't had privy. I do this straight off the bat, so to speak. You know, I premeditate on these, but this is just um, straight off the bat, and I'll, I'll just be looking at this and picking up, like I do with my tea leaves, of what I can actually um, see here. Okay, now here, straight away, I've got a sword, like the ace, ace of um, the ace of swords in the tarot deck. Okay, parting of the waves. Um, completely cutting somebody off. And that is going to be to do with the romantic side, as I said. This is the your sword that you'll be sticking in the stone, my lovelies, and it's not going to move. You've got to put an end to that. You've got to get back to this. You've got to get be able to stand in the mirror and, and realise this is you. This is I've, I've got me back, basically. So this is the first thing I see here, okay? This uh, Ace of Swords symbol here, okay? So let's have a look else what we've got here for my lovelies uh, in this card, okay. 
Let's have a look what we've got here. Because I have to look into these, a bit like the tea leaves. Right then, straight away here, I've got some of my aquariums. It's not going to be for everybody, okay? We'll be taking a trip out over the Christmas period. I can, all I can see, it's like, um, it's like a castle, an old building, okay? Now, it's like the proper old castle fortress door um, that I can see that some of my aquariums will be uh, either, it'll either be a place where your, your work's organised for you to go and have a Christmas meal, but I can just, I just see some aquariums walking through an old castle grounds, the old fortress door, so I can see that there as clear as day, so that's going to be for some of you that you'll be visiting some kind of castle grounds, going through a castle door, whatever, in the month of December, okay? Let's have a look what else we've got here. Okay. Right, I can also see here as well, um, I want to say so there's somebody in this read it well in this card come through here that wants to be remembered because I've got a candle here burning okay and I've got a person standing here who would have passed away in the month of December and I feel it was a person who was in the legal um, who would have been a solicitor or a, they were in like um, they were a judge they were they were in that kind of working environment okay and um, they used to carry a suitcase around with them for their job of work. I can just see they were in a suit, okay, very smart. And um, it's a remembrance link around a male, okay, I feel it's a male around December who's coming in on a memory link for my Aquarians to say, I know you light a candle for me, okay, this is what I'm getting. It's a remembrance, more or less, near enough a week before Christmas when this person passed. Okay, and they say, I know you light a candle for me, because I've got the candle here, okay, and um, that they are going to be around you, they, you know, to say like they are, they're always closer around you, and you sense them as well, I feel, uh, Aquarius, at Christmas time. But um, I just want to say, and this is going to sound really bizarre, but that they're, they're laughing here, I can see them laughing here, about something to do with an Aquarius, throughout the year, I don't know when it was, but they're just saying they were around you when you were wearing clown shoes. You know, the great big black clown shoes. They were, they're just saying, I saw you dressed up as a clown and I love the shoes, okay? <laughs> that is a really off the wall message, but I'm hopefully that's gonna resonate with some of my Aquarians here. Um, but I just, they're just saying, you know, love the clown shoes, absolutely love the clown outfit, love the clown shoes. Somebody either put a child in wearing a clown outfit or whether you had clown shoes on for some reason, but they're just saying, I love that I was around you, I love the clown outfit, okay? And I want to say Charlie Chaplin with this person as well. They love Charlie Chaplin. I've got to say that as well because that's what I'm picking up as well, okay? It's not going to resonate with everybody, guys, but I'm just picking up on what I can see in this uh, card, okay? And I do feel as well here, and again, it's not going to resonate with everybody. I've got a picture of a heart here. It's like somebody has had a heart bypass and it's their checkup in the month of December. Um, and I do feel that it's just to say that everything's gone, you know, it's been monitored well and everything's gone uh, well on the heart bypass. I just want to say heart bypass December, whether it's a check about an operation that's taken place or whether it's something to do with somebody who's got to have a heart bypass in the month of December, but just know uh, it's going to go, it's going to go well, guys, or it has gone well if you're going to get back for your tests and being monitored for that. So I'll pick up that there, okay. And then um, I just want to pick up here that I want to say to somebody, there's a there's a friendship here. Or, or a relative or, or on that kind of a score where you've given somebody the benefit of the doubt, okay? And it's a case of that's the nail in your coffin. Because I've got two nails here 
okay? And it's symbolising to me somebody saying in the metaphorical sense, you've just put the nail in your coffin. I do feel that some of my Aquarians here will be splitting up with um, either it's a relationship. Um, this isn't the one that I was on about in here, guys. This is this is a different element here. It's like somebody giving the benefit of the doubt to, to get something done, a, a family member who should have done something for you, a friend who should have done something for you, a friend who should have been there for you. And you gave them the opportunity saying, okay, then I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And it's hard to say they didn't come through with it. It didn't, it didn't materialise. They promised you something that didn't happen. And it's like you're saying to yourself, nailing their coffin. That's the, that's the last straw, the last nail. I am not allowing them to take me for a ride anymore. That's what I want to feel. And also, guys, because we pe people are travelling in the month of December, visiting friends, relatives, going to stay, okay, I need to say here, um, check your car, check your spare tyre in your car because I feel there's a nail a slow puncher or a nail in a tyre and it's saying here I've got spirit saying to me make sure they check their spare wheel or they've got some of that tyre weld or something uh, because I can see a nail a nail in a tyre on the way to visiting somebody uh, a puncher and it's just saying get the message out there to make sure they've got their spare tyre blown up check your um, you've got some tyre weld in the back of the car because I can just see a blowout or a nail. So I feel more like a nail, guys, in a tyre. That sounds a bit bizarre again, but I'm just going with what I could read from this card. So I hope, Aquarius, you can pick something from that. And now I'm just going to finish up with my little bit of poetry. So we have, as the year draws to an end, it's time to take control. 2019 has been a tough year, left out in the cold, feeling so much struggle and hurt in the passing year. It's saying pick yourself up, dust yourself, dust yourself down. 2020 will be a better year. Time for your heart to be lighter, be playful and have some fun. Clean up your act, spring clean your soul, embrace your heart um, with a, sorry, embrace your heart with a song. A unfinished symphony you will take in the new year. A past love still has feelings, but their voice you cannot hear, okay? Right, this past love that I was saying, this unfinished symphony, okay, they will try and guilt you on this um, text message email to say, how are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And it's saying um, your voice, their voice you cannot hear because the universe is saying to you, yeah, they're going to try and guilt trip you, okay. They're going to try and guilt trip you um, into a response, but it's saying here, um, you're not going to hear them. It's the universe saying don't hear them uh, because it's just a guilt trip message, as I feel. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's your own heart you follow, but I just feel there's something better waiting here on the romantic side, ha you know, to hatch for you there, my lovelies. Okay, so yeah, so basically, it has been a tough year, Aquarius. Um, and I said, you know, uh, feeling left out in the cold, you will have done in the relationship, okay. Uh, and you're struggling from the past hurts because some of you are going to be struggling. As I said, it's not two for six. This has, you know, you've lost your own, you've lost the person who you think, you know, you used to be or your playful energy has gone out of you. But it's saying this is going to pass. Not to hear that voice if they do come with this, you know, oh, how are you doing, blah, 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 from the past, on this past relationship. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it is going to be. A better year for you in 2020 because you are my lovelies the reason why is is getting control you're going to get control on all this what you've been doing and everything else so just to finish this up now okay i'm just going to do the old jingle bells charms i'm going to pick a charm out for you if you're new to my channel again and you haven't seen me i do do um a charm pull on some of my reads because i just like it it's just an added little element so my lovelies I'm going to shake these, okay, I'm not going to sing though, I did sing on some but I'm not going to sing because I don't sing very well but, and let's have a look at the lovely charm we have to wrap up this for you, my lovely Aquarius, let's have a look what we got, oh wow, and we've got the horseshoe, okay, and this is 
this is the this is going to be your um on everything to do with the romantic and the collective just know your look is going to change coming into the end of um december going into january your look is going to change and what i always say is um guys uh, it used to be an old wives tale that my mum passed down in the generations in my family but on new year's eve okay inside your house by your front door okay obviously not if you've got a porch don't do it in that unless it's locked but on your front door as you open up to go outside uh put a mat a little mat and get as much silver money and what have you okay and put it under the mat by your front door okay because by doing that on new year's eve on new year's eve as the new year comes in the first time you open the front door on you know even if you do the running around as well some people that was a situation that we used to do was like the coal the silver you know and you used to let the new year in on new year's eve but if you don't do anything on the night itself then just put some silver as much as you can you know underneath this tiny little cover or mat by your front door and then when you open the door for the first time on new year's day you're allowing the new year to come in it passes all the money okay that you've laid on on your front door and that's just going to set the intention for the new year that it it, it keeps money flowing into your house, okay, with, with no struggles as such. So, yeah, that's lovely to come out saying you're going to go into a, a, a far more positive 2020. So, my lovely Aquarians, I hope you have a fabulous Christmas, okay, and um, I'll look forward to reading to you in the new year. I just want to thank you to all my subscribers. You know, um, I've only been going since the, mid well, the end of June, and it's... Um, you know hopefully going into 2020 i can build that up even more but i just wish you all the best have a lovely christmas with your family or whoever you're spending it with and i look forward to reading to you in 2020 take care then bye bye mm -hmm.